Hiyo beach tulishukia Flamingo. Tukafanya interviews interview mtu mmoja. Mtu wa pili bado ndo tunangoja. Tukaona hata less than 5 5 minutes tukaona security wawili wamekuja na tuuliza mbona mnapiga picha bila idhini yetu. Tukawaambia sisi kikazi tukifanya atufanye kazi lazima na na, na idhini. Hapa ni mahali pa public. Na kusema kweli kulikuwa na bulldozer inachimba kwa beach. Alafu nyuma yake ni hoteli ina, inajengwa. So sisi tukaendelea ku, ku film na wakati lazimisha lazima tuachie hapo hapo tufungue matuli waone ni nini ambayo tulikuwa tunafanya. Wakati tulikataa ndi wakakuja waka wengi wakanresul mimi chini wakanipiga pingu Karim wakangana na ye katika ile hali ya, 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 ya commotion fortunately wakamshika nyuma. So tukabeba sisi wote tukaelekea katika hiyo hoteli ambayo inajengwa inaitwa Dolphin. Kwa kutana na management ambayo inaitwa the management. The management these guys were just like uh, they were just they were just like crooks because they were they were dressed in a manner you, you cannot even describe. So wakatuambia to record statements kulingana na kile ambacho kimefanyika. Tukauliza kwa nini ni police station? Waka insist. So we wrote, we wrote for them something. Then from there wakasema lazima to delete material. Tukakataa. Ndipoza tukaletwa katika police station. So kufika pale chini nikaona laba na meangushwa chini. So nikashangaa kuendelea nini? Nikasongea karibu, nikachukua simu yangu nikaanza kurekodi. Kuangalia kidogo kuna polisi ambaye nilimtambua, akaniona, akaambia wenzake yule msichana yu record kamshike. Kuona hivyo na uoga wa binadamu yoyote nikatoroka. Sijui vile nilijipata chooni, lakini nilikachooni kwa zaidi ya kama 20 minutes hivi. Ndo nikapigia wadosi Nairobi na mdosi wangu Lucas Barasa nikamwelezea tume Karim na Laban wameshikwa na mimi niko chooni naomba nisaidiwe vile nitatolewa. Makosa ambayo tumeona sisi pale ni kwamba ile beach maji kijaa inaweza ikaleta shida kwa wananchi hiyo peke yake. Sasa hiyo inasababisha Hiyo inasababisha tupigwe na Mombasa County Police Boss Mr. Ipara ndo ameni release. Sijawahi katika maisha yangu kupambana na visanga kama hivi. Nimefanya kazi nation miaka 38 lakini najivunia kwamba sijawahi kupigwa namna hii. I want to say categorically that this is impunity of the highest level.